I still have two hours left of this shift. Runs over to Marley and just attacks him. Look what came in the mail. You look stupid. I've got a in my hand. And the boys are lining up for my kisses of the world. Okay, so I'm gonna do my socks real fast. Day six. Let's see if I can get this bad boy open today. Okay, got it open. Cute, the little. Elves standing on a snowman, singing. Interesting. Um, okay, nice. I just got to work and the only thing keeping me going is that this is my last shift for the week because I simply am tired and don't want to do this again. All right, I'm on my break. Been here for two and a half hours, I think 6.30, 7.30, 8.30. Yeah, two and a half hours. And got my baking beauty, baking beauty doll. Just chilling. I'm so tired today. Like I can't stop yawning. I'm exhausted. Literally about to fall asleep. So I still have two hours left of this shift, <laughs> and I'm just really not happy about that. And I'm pretty sure that my break ends in like two minutes. And I really have to pee, so I should. I'm not gonna have time to pee. I'm not gonna have time to pee. Hi Edwin. guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day Nine. It is Wednesday, it's 12.53, I just got off of work. Um, let me tell you, I was having a great time at work today, okay? The dogs were behaving, everyone was being good, that's what behaving means. <laughs> you know, it just wasn't bad, it wasn't a bad day. I was just like, hmm, like today's going pretty smoothly. I was in the gym, so I was in with the big dogs, but we were like, we were having a blast, you know, everyone was playing nicely. Then, this dog comes in, this border collie, his name is Marley. He absolutely despises being there. He's like literally just a ball of anxiety and everyone attacks him because like I swear they can just like sense that he is so anxious and nervous and then it just makes all the dogs attack him. Um, so he's just constantly either being attacked or having a panic attack and I honestly just think that they should stop letting the dog come to daycare because he just doesn't want to be there and it's like sad. But anyway, he comes in and Cooper, Tito's dog who um is back here he is a crate door dog so basically what that means is that he doesn't know how to act when do new dogs come in the room so he has to be crated until after they come in so that the d new dog can come in and calm down and then cooper can be let out and then he won't be a aggressive basically he's not aggressive but like well he kind of is not, anyway um but like yeah he just will like act up when new dogs come in because he just gets too excited <sighs> Um, there's like too much construction happening right here. So anyway, so Cooper was created and Marley comes in and then like a couple minutes go by, Marley calms down. So I let Cooper out. What does he do? This fucking dog runs over to Marley and just attacks him full on biting the dog, will not let go, just attacking him. Marley's not even fighting back. Like, I couldn't even call it a scuffle because, like, it was literally just a one-sided scuffle. Like, Cooper just attacking Marley, and Marley was just, like, laying on the floor, peeing all over himself and screaming. And I kept trying to get Cooper off of him, and every time I would reach to grab Cooper, he would run away from me in a big-ass circle and then go right back to Marley. So I was having a really hard time getting Cooper, like, to get him to put him back in a crate. And then this other dog, this other boxer, Cooper's a boxer mix, and then this other boxer comes up and grabs Marley's leg and it starts dragging him across the floor by his leg. So I find I grabbed her and I got her off and then I called a code zero, which is like an emergency call for when things like that happen and I need help because I was in the room by myself. Um, and so then my manager came running in and she was able to get Cooper off of him. And so it basically just made me want to punch Cooper in the face because I love him. I do love him. And I think I have to say that sometimes to remind myself that I do love him because he makes me so fucking mad because he's so bad at daycare. Like he's not, he's not so bad at daycare the whole time he's there. 
like he'll be fine he'll play fine whatever but he just like he does that's not like that wasn't like a weird thing for cooper to do like he does that shit all the time and it made me so mad so then it just ruined the rest of my day because i'm like this is like embarrassing like tito also works at this dog daycare so like everyone knows tito and knows cooper is tito's dog and it's not like they like like you know it's not like i have to be fully responsible for cooper and his behavior because he's not my dog and everyone knows that tito he's tito's dog but as Tito's girlfriend and I take Cooper home with me every Wednesday and so it's just like obviously like I feel partly responsible for Cooper's bad behavior so then I'm just like embarrassed when he's just like acting like a freaking menace and it just made me so mad and then I just left him created for like an hour because I was like I just don't even want to look at you and Marley's fine he did not have any injuries but we didn't put him back in the room during the morning and we gave him a bath because he peed all over himself and then we let him rest in our drying room for the rest of the morning because he doesn't even want to be there and I just think someone needs to tell his owners that he does not want to be there anyway so that's how my day went at um work Luna why are we sobbing in the back but now I'm going to Starbucks, um, of course, that's my Wednesday routine, and I'm getting another grilled cheese sandwich, because the first one that I had last week was so freaking good. If Luna! I don't want to hear it! I always have to put the fucking windows down. It's 30 degrees outside. I swear, I spend too much time with dogs. Cooper, why is your window all the way down? Okay, sorry, I had to take a moment because, well, the dogs are making me feel suicidal. So, anyway, I got them both pup cups, even though they're driving me crazy. Anyway, I came to Starbucks. I got a grilled cheese because I got it last week. If you watched Vlogmas, I think it was day one or day two, and it was really good. So, I got another one. Just a girl pulling in the spot next to me, so this is awkward. Um, and I got a different drink than I've ever had before. It's a venti iced peppermint white mocha, and I've only ever had the regular peppermint mocha and i've only ever had it hot i've never had the white one and i've never had it iced so i'm gonna try it and also for some reason having a dome lid is just really embarrassing and i know they just do that because they put whipped cream on it but like for some reason it's really embarrassing to me but the worst thing about getting ice drinks that aren't cold brews is that they are not cold enough ever um this is really peppermint tea I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's good. Like, it's good enough for me to finish this drink, but I'm never going to order There's it. nothing more relieving to me than getting off of work um, on a Wednesday, knowing that I don't have to go back until Monday. Seriously. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. <sighs> my head hurts. I don't know why. Probably because I have my, my hair, so I'm going to take it down. But I probably want to just redo it in, like, the same way. Not the exact same, but really similar. It's so cold. It was supposed to snow. Like, the, it's like there was a... I don't know. Everyone was saying it was supposed to snow on Wednesday, but it didn't. Not surprised, but disappointed. Anyways, it's freezing. Um, Me and Leon are going to Starbucks to do homework today. So I had to get ready pretty quickly because we only have a limited amount of time because I have dance after and it's so sad that i can't vlog dance this year because i'm not the student so yeah but i'm about to braid my hair back into two pigtails again but i'm just gonna braid them like this way because this is just not doing it for me i mean it's like a mess so yeah that's what i'm doing i'm so out of breath for no reason we're at starbucks i got this because i didn't know what to get and then i went up there and then i panicked so i just couldn't get up and drink even like I had no plans to get this, but it's pretty good. Also got a snowman cookie, and it was a whole ordeal because I asked her if she has snowman cookies, and then she said, snowman cookie? And I said, yeah, and she goes, no, but we have snowman coffee cake. And I was like, not the same thing. I didn't say that, but I was like, okay, well, never mind. But then Leah and I informed me that she probably thought I said cinnamon cookie, and sure enough, she did, because they have snowman cookies. So then Maddie did mobile, well, we had to mobile them, but then I made Maddie go out there and get them because I was really insecure about the fact that I already had tried to get a snowman cookie and failed the whole thing, so. But now we're just doing some homework. <laughs> they look really out there.
Okay guys, I just got home and the more I drink this, the more I don't like it at all. You gotta know there's something funky about the taste. So I'm probably not gonna finish it because I literally have that much left, but um, we'll see. Um, but I just got home and look what came in the mail. I ordered a new phone. Um, I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max and I got the blue one and it's so pretty. But, oh my God, look at it. Ugh. She's gorgeous. Um, but I'm really upset because when I ordered it, when I ordered it, it was on, it said it was on back order and I wouldn't get it until the 18th through the 28th or something like that. But it came today. So it came like 10 days early and I wasn't expecting that to happen. So I didn't order a new phone case. So I ordered a phone case and a screen protector today, but I'm like, I really want to use it now, but I should probably be responsible and not use it without a case because like, you know, I don't want to drop it, and I drop my phone a lot, but I just know the camera quality is going to be so much better for Vlogmas, and my phone case and screen protector aren't supposed to come until Sunday, and today's Wednesday, so that's, like, a long time to just leave it sitting, so I, like, really want to use it, but I'm really scared I'm going to drop it. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't drop my phone that often, but I drop it often enough that it's, like, kind of concerning. Like, a little bit of a concern, but... She's so pretty. I don't know. I'm probably just going to end up using it, to be honest. Um, yeah, and then we can see if the quality is so much better. We didn't do advent calendar time this morning, so we got to do that right now. Today is the 8th, and so we got this one. The one with the 12-month pocket calendar. That's what it is. It's, it's quite literally just a little pocket calendar. Sucks. Oh, wait. Hold on. Today's the 8th. Why did I not? Oh, I was like, why didn't I open day 7 yesterday? But that's because the socks fell out. Um, okay, so I'm going to open day 8 today. This is literally like the situation at hand. Like this is like coming off. So it's like not good. But this is day day eight and i don't even know <laughs> like if i don't think any of the socks are in their right places anymore but i guess in theory it doesn't really matter we're just gonna somehow take one out every single day whether it falls out or we pull it out so this is the pair this matches the day six so i don't know these are probably supposed to be day six i don't know but they just look like that and they're like ankle socks super cute Okay guys, I set up my new phone. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe. Um, but I decided what I'm gonna do to keep it safe over the next like five days is not walk around holding it. I'm just gonna either put it in my pocket or I'm gonna put it down on a table or whatever. I'm not gonna just hold it and walk with it. So I'm wearing these leggings that have pockets in them. Where's the pocket? See? So all day, it can just be in my legging pocket. It's not going to go anywhere, but oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love it. Let me know if you think the camera quality is any better. I can't tell, but maybe when I go to edit, I'll be able to tell um, if it's any better. But let me show you. It's so pretty, the blue color. Oh my gosh, and it's so big. It's like kind of hard to hold because it's so big, but I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I just got out of the nail salon and this is my nails. They're red with glitter. Hold on, why I want to focus? But they are so fucking long, okay? Like, this is the longest I've, never I've ever had my nails done. And I haven't had them cut them, like, the last few times I went. And then this time, I totally meant to have him cut them. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to definitely have him trim them. And then I totally forgot to ask him to do it until he was already, like, halfway done putting the acrylic on them. And I was like, well... Uh, it's a little too late for that so they're just gonna have to be really long until two weeks when I go back I like them they're pretty um but yeah those are my nails going home now um catch up with you guys in a bit this camera quality is looks so good hopefully it looks as good like once I actually upload it but right now it looks really really good I'm so pleased okay guys I'm with Tito now what's up guys we're going to Chick-fil-A and we're going to get food and we're going to get peppermint milkshakes and then we're going to go to Crumble Cookies because it's right next to Chick-fil-A. We're going to get this week's flavors. Tito's like really mad about that part of the night for some reason, but I'm excited about it. 
And then we're going to the Festival of Lights thing. Christmas date night. That was so fast. I'm so excited to see them. Ah! Wait, what was the fourth flavor? Um, so I just picked the four. This is a gingerbread one. Gingerbread one. This is the mom's recipe that one. Was a, That's the sugar mom's. cookie. That's mom's recipe. What is this one? Uh, you literally just ordered them like maybe 40 uh, seconds ago. I don't remember. Oh my God, hold on. I'm gonna go Google it. We're literally, there's an accident. Okay, I'm not gonna show you. Well, that's just a fire truck, but there is always an accident at this light. I have probably seen like two accidents happen, like witnessed two accidents happen in my lifetime. And they were both at this exact light. So a police officer died at this light. Like there's always accidents at this intersection, aren't there? Absolutely. Anyway, I'm mad at Tito because the one of the flavors was peppermint, York, chocolate, something. And that's what I wanted. Here are your fries, I know you're starving. And that's what I wanted. And that's, he was like, oh, there was like a chocolate one. I didn't get that. First of all, do you know me? Why? Second of all, the flavor he got instead, eggnog. Eggnog. He goes, I was sitting there trying to figure it out because for some reason Crumble didn't post it on their Instagram, the, the flavors this week. So I was like trying to figure it out because I saw a TikTok about them. And he goes, oh, there was an eggnog flavor, but I doubt I got that one. No, that's the one he got. But I want to try them for you guys. First, I'm gonna try the eggnog. I, at least I think this is the eggnog one. It's cold though. The rest of them are warm, but I think this is the eggnog one. This one's cold. Okay. No, that's not eggnog. I don't know what this flavor is. It tastes like pumpkin. I think it's like pumpkin something. <clears throat> I don't love it. It's too flavorful. I don't know how I feel about that. I give it like a six out of ten. Let me try. Okay, this one's mom's recipe or something like that. Which the TikTok I watched about the flavors this week, everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, that one's like the best cookie!" So I'm excited. Mmm. My mom's really good. It's got salt on top. Mmm. It's like oatmeal with chocolate chips. <clears throat> and there's salt on top. It was really good. Probably like. Thank you. Nine out of ten. Maybe even ten out of ten. That one's really good. Sorry, this lightning's not great, guys, but I can't really turn on Tito's light because it's gonna have to do that really while you're driving. Okay, anyway, this is a gingerbread one. Hmm. You know, I'm normally not. You can't even see me now. <laughs> normally not a huge fan of gingerbread. That one's actually really good. Give it like an 8 out of 10. Okay, and the last one's just a sugar cookie. Um, but it's like Christmassy looking. Mm. I don't love that. It's really boring. Um kind of tastes weird. Well, not weird, but not good. Give it like a 4 out of 10. I don't know. Something about it's not sitting right with me. Anyway. There's my crumble review. Okay, we just finished the thing. What'd you think, babe? Uh, it was nice. I liked the lights and I liked 
I, I liked it. I just don't think it was worth the money. It was forty dollars. Yeah, I felt like it was so short. Okay, la it was the same exact freaking light show as last year. Like everything was exactly the same, which is I'm pretty sure this thing has been going on for like how long? Since we were kids, so yeah. like at least twenty years, like at least probably longer than that. And I don't think that they've changed it at all once this entire time. But it was exactly the same as last year. But it felt really short this year and i don't know why i my guess is that last year we were either driving slower or there was just more cars in front of us so we were forced to drive slower you know like i think this year maybe you just drove through faster or maybe we just like i wasn't even going that fast no either. you weren't but like i don't know just felt really short this year um definitely not worth 40 dollars but you know for the experience of having a nice christmas date night it was priceless So, anyway, we're going back to my house now. We're gonna take a really cute picture and then we're gonna watch more Joey. Marshall today, they have an immense you, section. You look stupid. Stuff. He's like, one you look stupid. With like shorts, zip up with like the hood, and they're like, hello, hello. Okay, uh, okay. Oh, I said wrong. Nunas! Oh, pretty girl. Cooper. Cooper. Cooper, look. This is such a process. Cop Huh. Paul Cooper. Goop. Hey. Lunas. Meow. Lunar. She you can't see her bandana stupid. at all. She knows, and she just looks stupid even if you saw the bandana. That's not what you want to put on. Can you see her bandana? No, you can't. Oh, like, that looks good where she is right now. Okay, that's cute. Now you guys look at me. Okay guys, so I'm gonna stop vlogging now and um, Caitlin's gonna end the vlog. But today's question is, do you have an advent calendar? I have the family one, my sock one, and my friend's one. You have a sock one? Yeah, it's friend socks. Of course. Um, yeah, I have the family one. Yeah, we do the family on my calendar. So comment down below. Does your I got a wine glass in mine today. You do? And it has, obviously not because you, you're not Caitlin. But it has, like, I think bells on it or something. Something Christmas. Cute. Thing. Super cute. So, yeah, comment down below. Do you guys have an advent calendar? And I'm going to look at them in the vlog. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Just got out of the shower. Looking a little rough. But... The question of the day is if you've got an Allen calendar. Okay. Allen calendar, and obviously I do, as you know. 50 to the sock mess, and then my mom's calendar should be for us. So comment down below if you have an Allen calendar, and we hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. I'm gonna have to think about this again. Yesterday I said for Vlogmas Day. Today is the. We're filming for the 9th right now. So, vlog set. Alright, we're going to today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 10. I can't believe it's already called Vlogmas Day 10. We're pretty much like halfway through Vlogmas almost. Oh my gosh, this month is flying by. Anyways, peace, love, and ladybugs. Bye. Bye.